are you I'm Ashley oh thank you thank you no need for that no seriously stop how are you doing come back it's warm come back where are you going bye mm. I'm Ashley if you can hear my cat eating in the background that's Pearl I have read approximately 15 books this year so I think that qualifies me to be a booktuber now so this week I am reading Phoebe Bridger's favorite books. Let's go ahead and pause right here. This is Editing Ashley, also a sick Ashley, and I wanted to take a moment to apologize for the terrible sound quality in this first section. My hair is currently breezing along the microphone, and I wanted to preemptively apologize for my glasses in the upcoming scene, but if you subscribe, I promise none of this will ever ever happen again. Uh, and we all know Phoebe Bridgers, right? Like, I don't think I need to say who this is. Like, we all know that Phoebe Bridgers is the coolest gal in the land and in the band, but especially the land. Phoebe Bridgers is the literal definition of cool girl. But this week, we're gonna read her favorite books, and maybe after that, I will catch a little a little glimpse of this cool girl virus that she got. Oh wait, um, can't say virus. Um, blah, 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 syndrome, cool girl syndrome, uh, CGS for short. Okay, actually I'm gonna live with you here. I am legally, professionally, anti cool girl. I mean, I've seen Gone Girl, so um, not a fan of the cool girl. And I mean, we're all anti cool girl in the post gone girl, cool girl monologue, right? Like no longer does the cool girl thrive in our minds, but I am pro Phoebe Bridgers. I'm in love with her, Elton John is in love with her, so let us read her favorite books. So the first book that I'm reading recommended by Phoebsters herself is, I'm reaching for it, um, here we go. Uh. The Idiot by, who is this by? Elif Bataman. Once again, I forget how to Google in times like these when I don't know how to pronounce things, but that seems close, right? This book was one of the only like true fictional novels that I saw Phoebe recommend, so that was why I needed to get this. Um, other than Harry Potter, I'm not gonna read that one, are we? But all I know about this book is that the guy who sold me the book at our local bookshop loved it and would not stop talking about it, and also, the year is 1995, and email is new. Portrait of a young woman. That's all I really got. I love a book about a young woman, and I love books with no plot, so I'm just feeling like I'm gonna dig it. Give me a book about nothing, I will thrive. And the next book I'm reading is a, can you see my eyes? Can you see them? And the next book I'm reading is a non-fiction book, recommended obviously by Phoebe Bridgers, but it's The Body Keeps the Score. So this is a book about trauma. And you might not be able to tell by my face, but I am so excited to read about trauma. Excited to do the work and uh, Learn how my body keeps the score. <laughs> body four, trauma five. And the third book we are reading for this week is, what is it, In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Mercado. No one else, just her. And this is a memoir. So we got fiction, we got nonfiction, we got memoir. And memoir could be nonfiction, but it could not be. It's up to you and your personal opinion, I suppose. But it is a memoir about abusive queer relationships or an abusive queer relationship. So more trauma is to be had this week. Two books, two out of three books about trauma. That's pretty chill. I'm gonna be basically an expert on trauma by the end of this week. So uh, call me your therapist. I'm just kidding, don't. No, seriously, don't get your own therapist because I am busy and not qualified. These are my reading fingers, so whenever I do this, it means I'm about to read. Did you 
guys know that this would happen? Did you know if he read Phoebe Bridger's books, her favorite books, that you would turn into her? Previously, in Ashbell's life. Okay, so weird story, guys. I'm hanging out with my cat. She's super cool. Um, say hi, Pearl, in the comments below. But anyway, I was out and about. I come home, open my door, and my cat runs away. And she's never done that before. And I was like, why are you running away? And then I go to poop because every time I come home, I have to poop because I don't like pooping out and about in anyone else's house, any public place, anywhere else but my own bathroom. It's the only place I can poop. But I go in there, and I see the mirror because there's always a mirror in the bathroom. And I'm like, oh my God, what happened to my hair? Um, anyway, I look like this now. I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you start reading Phoebe Bridger's favorite books, apparently you just like turn into her or something. I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know how it happened. Did I bleach my hair for this video? I'll never say. Hello friends, I'm holding some beans. Mm, just girly things. Um, it's chili season, chili time, and look at my fancy beans. Just gotta show you my beans. Okay, um, but back to the book, the Body Keeps the Score book that I'm reading right now. I just have a little bone to pick with you all. So in the beginning, it talks a lot about uh, Vietnam veterans, and the first guy that he is like treating and talking about was a guy that like he witnessed all of his friends like be blown up pretty early on in this war. It's like, I, I get that, like that sucks. So I don't really get it, that has never happened to me. But like, empathetically, I get that and I get how that sucks for you, like I get it. But um, then the guy confessed that the day after that happened to him, he went out and like murdered a bunch of Vietnamese children and like raped all these women. And like, I don't know if he knows that, but that is not good. Not good at all. Not even neutral, that's evil, actually. Anyway, that's just the bone I have to pick right now. I'm gonna go wash my cute little beans. All right, so I finished Phoebe Bridger's books, or not her books, but the books that she read. She read them and I read them, so we're kind of the same in that way. You might think we're the same in other ways now, but Mostly, we've read the same books at this point. But let's dive into uh, the juicy books that Phoebe Bridgers recommends, and let's judge her. Let's review the books. Let's talk about them. Let's do all that fun stuff. I had to go outside to get AA batteries, and as soon as I do, my nose gets all red. It's cold out. It's cold out already. But the first book I read, The Idiot. I think I've already introduced what this is about, but if I didn't, it's about nothing. This book is like littered with three star reviews on my Goodreads. Like everyone thought it was like bleh, average, whatever. No one's thinking about it, but I quite enjoyed it. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun read if I do say so myself and I am, I am saying so myself. Also, there's this part at the beginning where the character is like worried about not having opinions on things and then suddenly I was paralyzed by the fear that I wouldn't have any opinions or thoughts on this book. But I do. I think it's good. There's not a lot of plot, so it's kind of hard to summarize what is going on in this book. And honestly, if I did summarize it, you wouldn't be that interested in reading it. But you know, no plot, not really a deal breaker for me. I love a good character story. I love a Sally Rooney moment. I love thinking about ideas and getting lost in words. You know, some people they're here to get lost in a story or in plot and some people want to get lost in words. And if you are the latter group, if you like to get lost in words, think about ideas, this is a good book for you. But I do want to say I can actually see how this book might have influenced Phoebe in her writing. Shocker! People can be influenced by other works of art, literature, crazy. But basically this writer like makes really fun observations on the world of everyday occurrences, kind of in like this like dry humor kind of way and you kind of go like, huh, like that does happen. That is true. Never thought of it that way before. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it without just like showing you some of my favorite lines in this book. So at one point she's like watching people scuba dive and take scuba lessons and she says this. How do all those people know that they wanted to know how to scuba dive? Here's one of my favorites. This made me LOL. Ready? 
I picked up a pamphlet titled Facts and Myths About Acid Indigestion because I usually enjoy myths, but these were pretty lousy. I don't know, the dry sense of humor like really got me. I laughed out loud in public, mind you, at this book, I think more than any book I've literally ever read. Ever. But I don't normally laugh. But I laughed at this book. It made me laugh. It made me giggle. It made me chuckle. Go hee 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 hee. Got bored in the temple. Looked around at the 7-Eleven. I don't know. The band's at the speed train. I went to the arcade. I wanted to go, but I didn't. Like, there's something about, like, being in this marvelous city and being like, oh, it's boring. <laughs> like, you want to go to the arcade? I kind of want to go, but I don't really want to go. I don't know, that sort of, like, just juxtaposition. Ugh, there's too much saliva. I just can feel it. Like, I can feel the influence, and if you read it, you will feel the influence. Okay, I'm done speaking about it. Uh, but four out of five stars. Oh my god, have you read this? Now this, five out of five stars. Like, right off the bat till the very end. This was good. Like, from the first page, you're like, like it feels like a fiction novel. There's not really chapters, but every little like section is like based off of a different like genre or cliche or or like archetype or I don't even know how to describe it. But like for example, she's got like this one. Can you read it? It's like dream house as creature feature. There's one that's like dream house as choose your own adventure. The prose in here is exquisite. Just like 10 out of 10 taste. The body keeps the score. This is heavy. This is a textbook. Um, I think there's a lot of useful things in here. In the back section, I think is the most useful because it's about different ways he's healed trauma. Does my voice sound like it's falling apart? Hello. But I don't know, I think this is like a four out of five stars. I also think that this guy's like canceled. Canceled. Let me Google it before I confirm. Ooh, Google the author's name and you will see allegations of employee mistreatment. If you read the book, you can kind of feel the air of how serious he is. There's something like a little narcissistic about the way that he speaks. Okay, here's a good example. This is at the beginning, page 42. He's seeing some images of the brain for the first time and he just has this little sentence he throws in that says, it occurred to me that this was how the early astronomers must have felt when they peered through a telescope at a new constellation. I don't know, it was just like, oh, I'm just discovering something. I'm like a scientist. Like I get it. You're like a, a pioneer of PTSD treatment. There's my review of all the books. I don't really know what I rate this. Maybe a four out of ten because it's helpful but he's canceled. And canceled people never get five out of fives. What can we say about Phoebe Bridgers from her favorite reads? Well, She's a spooky bitch. She's a weird bitch. Those are cool girl reads. They're also a little depressing, which I mean, we probably knew that from her songs, but she does seem at least sad on some level. But it seems like she is trying to work through that. Well, if you've read these books, comment down below. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? And did you agree? Should any of the books be canceled? Are you gonna dress up like Phoebe Bridgers? Are you gonna dye your hair like Phoebe Bridgers after you read her favorite books? Comment down below. And that's it, that's the end of the vlog. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, no need for that. You guys are too kind to me. All right, well, I'll see you next time where maybe I will read Phoebe Waller-Bridge, his favorite books. Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Phoebe Waller, Walla Bridgers, Walla. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I actually didn't know I was still recording, so hopefully future Ashley does not put that in the vlog.